Welcome to the Dreamlands, and we're back with Game 2 in the Faction War series between the Soban Fleet and the Galician Fleet. In Game 1, the Soban Fleet intercepted the Galician as they were en route to the Kartoba site to destroy the site and prevent the Coalition from gaining access to the hyperspace core within. The Soban Fleet was victorious in Game 1. They intercepted the Galician at Kalash Valley en route to the Kartoba site and they have made their way to the site to secure it from the Galician invasion. Meanwhile, the Galician fleet has fled the battlefield. They have convened, replenished their forces, and now have made it all the way to the Kartoba site to once again engage the Soban fleet. Let's get our bearings and jump into the game. So once again, the Soban are spawning on the north side of Kartoba. We know the players, they are the same. It is going to be the same. Um, the way I'm doing this is... The teams have to be the same for each best of three. However, when the Soban move on to, uh, or when any faction for that matter moves on to fight another faction, the teams can be different as long as they're the same for each best of three. So let's do our player introductions and get into the game. Boop, boop. All right, so taking up the right spawn on the north side of Kartoba, it is once again gonna be Joran, Commander Joran Soban. Taking up the middle spawn position, once again, it is going to be Kitsune. And taking up the left spawn position, once again, it is going to be Maze. That's interesting, they have the exact same uh, relative spawn locations as they did last game. South side of the map, Team Galcian trying to make their comeback into this series, trying to prevent the Soban fleet from securing the Kartoba site. First up on the left-hand spawn, it is going to be Rompa Frolic. Ah, oh, good, they changed their colors to the uh, classic Galician colors, I like that. Taking up the middle spawn position, once again it is going to be Serum. And taking up the left spawn position, once again it is going to be Catharsis. Very, very excited to see how this game pans out. Looks like we have some serious aggression already from Team Galician. Is this a double production cruiser build from Rompa Frolic? It is indeed. Uh, it looks like we've got a double production cruiser build from Catharsis as well, and a single production cruiser aggression from Serum. So five production cruisers coming out across the map. What is it going to be? Uh, looks like Rampa Frolics is going to be tech, so perhaps um, perhaps assault ships and perhaps heavy rail or uh, assault rail guns. What is it going to be for? Um, Kitsune is going to have, or this is Serum. Jesus, okay, I'm not going to do that again this game. So it looks like it's going to be Sand Skimmers from both Catharsis and Serum. We do have an early artifact grab from Kitsune. That is going to get shut down. No way that's going to make it in. We also have an early artifact grab from Rampa Frolic. Let's take a look at builds for the Soban fleet. We do have Support Cruiser first from Joran. Saturated his main and his first wreck. Uh, we do have Sport Cruiser first from Maze as well, saturated his main. Okay, we've got a cheeky play coming out from Maze. Kitsune long hauling from his second as well. Maze long hauling from his second, and he is going for the AAV face punch build, as I like to call it. He's moving his carrier directly out onto the map, tech directly to AAVs, and is spewing out AAVs. Do we have armor upgrades? Not yet. Is uh, Rampa trying to be greedy here? Yeah, I think he is. He's trying to go for a double expand. That's very unusual. Second production cruiser from Joran as well. Teching directly to AAVs. Backed up by those ALMs. Going to try and force off all of these skimmers and trying to go for a greedy build. So Joran and Rampa both trying to double expand. Massive sand skimmers on the field as well as a second artifact grab for Team Galcian. And we have Mass Skimmer backed up by Heavy Railguns with the double production cruiser from Catharsis. Very, very strong build. Joran is in a ton of trouble. His carrier is already taking damage as Catharsis forces camp this high ground position here. These AAVs are going to get shut down provided Catharsis moves these Railguns out of the way. More Sand Skimmers streaming out onto the field. One AAV goes down. A second one is about to go down for sure. Boom, there it goes. Joran has been forced off of his greedy opener. He is forced into retreat. Catharsis securing that position here. While the AAV face punch build just charges unopposed from Maze all the way across the map. 
Rumpa Frolic has spotted it. He does have assault ships on the field now. Tons of them, as a matter of fact. No upgrades yet. He is going to try and catch this before it hits his econ. Wow, what an interesting game so far. These skimmers should go for a backstab through center. They should not try and engage this. They're not going to do anything. They're not going to pull these away. Uh, this build is focused entirely on this right here. So I think all of these skimmers should just go through mid and hit all of this exposed econ over here. That would be the ideal play. This many assault ships, though, as well as the Gaussian carrier, can hold this. What a crazy, crazy game so far. Oh my god, look at this. Massive numbers of LAVs backing up this AAV. I'm gonna try and dislodge Catharsis from this position. His LA or his AAVs are just gonna bleed out though. Uh, there's no way that he can take this in a head-on fight. Catharsis still holding this position while Maze tries to push through. Do we have armor upgrades? Yes, we do. We've got that one armor upgrade for those AAVs. Oh god, they are just going to swing wide of uh, Rampa Frolic and Assault Serum. They are going to clean up oh, so much of Serum's economy. However, Catharsis and Serum are over here with some heavy railguns. At least Serum is going to back this up. Meanwhile, Joran is going to get a mass of LAVs. They are going to try and outmaneuver all of these skimmers and focus uh, on the production cruiser. That's kind of strange. Um, they are going to get cleaned up, however, they will not be able to take this production cruiser out. There is way too many skimmers, so Catharsis is going to clean up Joran's forces and hold that position still. Meanwhile, Serum is getting overran by massive numbers of AAVs. We have a backstab. We do. Okay, beautiful. So there was a backstab from Rompa Frolic. That's what you got to do. Uh, that is eventually going to get cleaned up, however, it looks like he cleaned up a bit of um, economy from that side, at least forced it off. That's got to be, who is that? That's Maze. Okay, so he's been forced off his second. Whose carrier is taking damage? Oh, Joran's carrier. He's still trying to push this off with his carrier and with AAVs. That is absolutely not going to work. Finally, Kitsune supporting with a couple of AAVs, going to secure that flank and middle position. But Joran is in a ton of trouble taking shots on his carrier from all of these heavy railguns. Beautiful play by Catharsis. Hyper, hyper aggressive play there. That was really, really nice. So it looks like Maze has been shut down and forced off of the center position. His AAV is still behind enemy lines doing economic damage. But finally, these assault ships are going to uh, cut them off. What they want to do is just smoke this and hit the economy. There you go. But some nice maneuvers from Rampa Frolic. Gonna just avoid that smoke. These AAVs are toast. They're gonna be eating fire from Serum's carrier as well as all of these assault ships. Serum should take power out of range and into weapons, get those missiles online. Did Duran go down? Nope. Duran has been forced into a full retreat. He has lost his third. It looks like he is shortly going to lose his second, as a matter of fact, and has been forced back all the way to his main. I've probably been missing some harassment back here. Yes, indeed, I was. Missing some Sand Skimmer harass from Serum. Beautiful play, as well as from Rompa Frolic. Look at this. Okay, so this is the important part of the battle for now. Ugh. A little bit of smoke gonna try and force off all of these heavy railguns. They do have some armor upgrades though. They are just gonna pick off all of these uh, AAVs with ease. Oh, this support cruiser is toast for sure. It goes down and with it, uh, all of Joran's economy, pretty much. He's been forced back just to his main. What's going on? Uh, Kitsune on three bases now. Very, very healthy economy. Maze still on one base, long hauling from a second and trying to lock down this middle position. On the back of all of that fighting, it looks like Rampa Frolic was able to dump that artifact and bring them up to a 1-0. Oh, lordy, look at this. 
Is this uh, Serum? Yes, indeed. So both Serum and Catharsis pushing on the weakened flank of the Soban fleet. Joran's carrier is in a ton of trouble. It's actually going to go down. Uh, it's He's charging. So it looks like he is going to make one last desperate attempt to secure the flank. However, this is a pretty scary move. Look at all of these railguns up on the high ground position. Joran's carrier is on fire. It is billowing smoke. Critical damage has been dealt. Grabbing a second artifact is Team Galcian. Meanwhile, is that an Honor Guard cruiser? Oh, oh, a Siege cruiser. Beautiful play from Rompa Frolic. So a Siege cruiser going to try and dislodge Maze from camping this position. And all he's got is his carrier and a handful of railguns. So this is going to be a very, very effective play. Team Galcian off to a very strong start in this game, actually. Let's see what's going on with Joran. Is his carrier down? No, but they're being overrun. There are battle cruisers though on the field for Team Soban. Kitsune bringing his carrier forward and spewing out battle cruisers to try and lock down this flank. Supported by LAVs from Joran. Joran's economy is hurting. His carrier is hurting. This flank is dangerously close to being overran. Meanwhile, we do have a massive blob of assault ships coming from Rompa Frolic. Beautiful play from Rompa Frolic. Both, actually all of the players on Team Galcian so far have been playing very, very well. Looks like May's economy is going to get absolutely devastated in this push. Meanwhile, Team Galcian overruns the right flank. Look at the positioning on those railguns. That is magnificent. That's how you want to do it. Going to try and overrun this position with some LAVs. Going to clean up a few of those railguns, actually. Nice move by Joran. However, Sand Skimmers are going to clean this up, but the damage has been dealt. Most of these railguns, if not all of them, yeah, all of them are going to get cleaned up. One may survive. Some massive smoke spam. AAVs and battle cruisers holding the front line, supported by carriers and ALMs. Oh, Maze. Maze's entire economy just got absolutely devastated. These assault ships are going to get cleaned up, but not before the damage has been done. Oh, and a beautiful flank too coming out from Rob Frolic. Skimmer is going to get behind all of these railguns and start picking them off. Maze desperately trying to hold on with a handful of railguns and a handful of LAVs. Rapa is going to secure a second artifact. Serum has a third in holding ready to deliver. So two nothing in terms of artifacts. Rompa Frolic's push unopposed. He is going to lose pretty much all of these forces. However, that's going to dislodge Maze, set his economy into shambles, and allow these sea cruisers to push forward. What a game. This is a fantastic game. Some support cruisers here trying to heal up these battle cruisers. Duran is still in this somehow, but his economy is toast, man. Big blob of skimmers going to clean this up. Some nice LAVs on the high ground going to force them off. Somehow Duran still has a full economy on the on his starting location. That is hilarious. Really, really expert defense there. Oh man, Team Soban is taking a brutal beating right now though. It is going to take some pretty miraculous play for them to get out of this. Look at that. Maze somehow on three bases still. He has got his economy back up and running for the most part. Long hauling from his second and third, and his support cruiser is still up at his main, so that is fine. More and more siege cruisers. Oh, look at these barrages. Oof! <laughs> There doesn't exist any other game in history that has explosions and effects like Deserts of Terra. Man, this game is so goddamn beautiful. Maze still holding on though, somehow. Oh my god, are they gonna turn it around? Look at all these battle cruisers! So Kitsune with a clutch support of Joran's overran position, it looks like they are going to hold. Is Team Soban gonna turn this around? This is still very much anyone's game. Maze is in a ton of trouble, however. He is losing this flank big time. Does not have an answer for that artillery. He wants to deck air because there's really no AA on the field uh, for Rampa Frolic. So if he can get a nice, healthy bunch of uh, strike fighters or even bombers, man, a couple good bomber hits will clean all of this stuff up. 
this is a situation where you want tactical bombers actually um, those situations are rare tactical bombers are a difficult um, unit to get value out of but in a position like this tactical bombers can win you the game actually like look at that two tactical bombers could destroy this entire army in one pass pretty much Duran and Kitsune have locked down the right flank of the map. The left flank is collapsing a little bit, but the right flank is doing extremely well. Look at these battle cruisers. Oh, this is a sight to behold. Man, Soban battle cruisers are just so damn sick. AAVs backing them up. That is the perfect composition right there. No airplay, which is pretty shocking. So it looks like Serum did dump that artifact, so we're up 3 nothing in terms of artifacts. Strike fighters have hit the field. They're going to start pouring their fire onto these siege cruisers. Currently, it looks like there's only three... Okay, six strike fighters. Beautiful. Two more artifacts from Team Galcian are en route, and it looks like they will get delivered, so it looks like it's about to go up 5 nothing in terms of artifacts. Oh lord, look at this giant engagement about to kick off here along the uh, right flank of the map. That's north, and this is east. Or this is west, pardon me. Kitsune looks like he is having a hard time cresting this dune with all of this firepower. Boom, the fourth artifact goes down. The fifth artifact about to get delivered. So Team Galcian just owning it this game. Very, very nice plays. Strike siege cruisers backed up finally by some missile ships as well as mass sand skimmers from Rampa Frolic. Four siege cruisers. Good grief. That is very, very scary. Maze is in a ton of trouble. He doesn't have any army. He's got just like some strike fighters and a handful of AAVs trying desperately to hold on to this flank. Currently succeeding, but for how long? This is where the game deciding battle is probably going to take place because if this falls, Team Soban is toast. A nice backstab coming in from some sand skimmers. This is Catharsis. You get those sand skimmers behind Joran, all the way around behind everybody. Nice AAV positioning here. A big sand skimmer blob coming through mid as well as through the left flank as well. Oh man, this is what you want to do right here. That middle pass can be uh, really, really important on this map if one team forgets to defend this pass here. This kind of thing will happen. This uh, support cruiser's toast. Kitsune is about to lose a ton of economy. So is Joran by the looks of it. And oh man, Maze is in so much trouble. AAVs are not going to help you at this point, sadly. Um, there's just not much they can do. And with this number, look at all of these missile ships. Four missile ships guarding those siege cruisers. Uh, yeah, all of those strike fighters are going to get shot down. Oh, those barrages. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Look at this. Just absolute devastation. Rampa Frolic's carrier coming forward. Oh, we have a huge push from Kitsune. That's got to be Kitsune. Yeah, it is. Look at all of those battle cruisers. Holy smokes. Uh, however, a little bit overextended with the carrier there. Catharsis has his carrier, has some honor guard cruisers, as well as a massive number of heavy rail guns, some skimmers, and some missile ships. Kitsune is in a bit of trouble. Going to get forced into retreat. Again with the backstabs. Oh man. So looks like Soban, Team Soban, their fleet is slowly being picked apart. Their economy is in shambles. They have been forced back, similar to uh, how the tables have turned from last game. Team Soban has now been forced back. Duran looking to move across the map to support Maze while Kitsune tries desperately to hold this flank. It's currently pretty successful, but uh, unable to push. Oh boy. 
Duran's carrier and all of his forces moving to support are going to come under an enormous amount of artillery fire. Ugh. Look at all those siege cruisers, holy smokes. what's going on. Oh yeah, another giant blob of skimmers from Serum coming for a backstab. Beautiful play, gonna clean up a bunch more salvagers. Kitsune looks, hey, this might be a nice play. Try and get a flank out on Rompa Frolic and go for a carrier kill. Oh man, if that happens, that could turn things around a little bit here. However, Joran and Maze have no army. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna call it Team Galcian is definitely gonna take this one. I mean, a miracle could happen. It's still, uh, the game is still not over. If Kitsune can somehow surround um, Rampa Frolic's forces and they can collapse on it and destroy this army and maybe his carrier, they could take this side of the map. Oh, May's carrier goes down, however, to mass artillery fire. And it looks like this flank is collapsing. Joran is probably going to follow very, very shortly. His carrier is badly damaged. What's going on? Kitsune coming around for a flank to try and get on top of these units. Mass battlecruisers and a Soban carrier leading the charge. Oh, is that a bomber? That is a bomber. That's a Galcian bomber. Precision bomber. Oof. This is definitely going to be the uh, climactic battle. Yeah, so Team Soban has pretty much forfeited all of their territory, uh, and Team Galcian just has the most ridiculously big army. Oh, those barrages! Oof, one of the siege cruisers go down. If these Soban carriers can get on, or if the Soban battle cruisers can get in range of all of these units and get line of sight onto them, they could take this down pretty damn quickly. Some precision bombers, though, coming in to drop fire on top of those Soban battle cruisers. Oh, and a missile barrage from downtown. Gonna force Kitsune into a full retreat with those battle cruisers. Meanwhile, his carrier is sorely out of position. Totally exposed here. Looks like Joran went down. No, that's Joran's carrier. So Kitsune is back here, and Joran is just charging with his carrier. It looks like we are gonna have a good old fashioned carrier battle. And with that amount of power in weapons, backed up by some artillery fire and precision bombers, this is a fight that is not going to go well for Duran. Even some interceptors now as well. Oh, that precision bomb. Beautiful hit. Oh, all the artillery too. Oh, God. But lots of railgun fire from those battle cruisers, which are just so damn tanky. Even a support cruiser here healing them up. Oh man, Rampa Frolic's carrier is actually taking quite a bit of damage here. Both carriers going to converge with these last remaining battlecruisers. Oh, but the precision bombs, the artillery shells, and the missiles from the interceptors are going to clean up those battlecruisers. Clutch play. Oh, there goes Joran's carrier. Boom. Oh, did they get the artifacts or something? All right, so magnificent play by Team Galcian. So they are going to drive the Soban off from the Kartoba site. The Soban have one chance to reassemble their fleet and make an assault on the Kartoba site. Will they secure it or will Team Galcian 
take the day. I will see you guys for game three coming up next. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Leave a like if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed my content. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you for game three coming up next.